Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahawa. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rachakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and others. A great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akima. That is pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the great millstone Miami County coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, it's satisfying. This is just something I wanted to speak on, something I was meditating on in the spirit, and I wanted to push this uh, vibration out. Basically going into how us set up, when I say us, I'm starting with the apostles, and that is a great millstone, the brothers on down, that believe wholeheartedly in this 100% truth, and have been given the unction, okay, the Holy Spirit, the, the power, the spiritual power to be able to go into these scriptures and go into these words and and to extrapolate and speak on these words and speak unto the nation of Israel, okay, our people, and to warn them, okay, to, to warn them. We are set up as the watchmen of the nation of Israel, and the Lord told us to watch. He told us to watch as well as pray. Okay, it's also written in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, okay, that we should measure the times diligently in itself. Okay. And <laughs> that's what we should be doing uh, now more so than ever. Now, the reason I'm um, going into this is because if you look around, you know, the the speaking in Babylon when you look look at Jake how how Jake is acting because Esau Edom who the devil that the Bible speaks of the so-called white man starting with his elites they have to have something bigger planned okay they have to have something more sinister uh up their sleeve with this whole pandemic with this whole you know big v thing they're opening up everything back to normal you know just uh speaking from my pov down here in miami man if it wasn't for the mask <laughs> if it wasn't for these people walking around with damn mask on you would have never thought 2020 happened Okay, everything's back wide open. The clubs back wide. Everything is back to normal. Business as usual. You got all different type of people coming from uh, different cities and states moving down here because it's you know more free. Then you got different parts of the country. So really, Jake think that everything. Jake really thinks everything is back to normal now. When you really look at it now, of course. 2020 was a, a traumatic year a lot of people's lives were changed a lot of things changed but you got Esau giving out you know goodies and stimulus and you know money here money there so Jake Jake really think everything is cool now Esau Edom he he, he we, we already know through the spirit that this they, they coming out with different articles saying this thing is not going away they telling you straight up that it's not going away. But the but the, the spirits of these people, speaking of Jake, our people, the Israelites, so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, they they really, you know, are, are getting, you know, they're rocking right back to sleep. So that's how we know through the spirit of power of Yahweh Yahweh because the Lord is the one controlling these devils. On the left hand side, he's controlling these different uh so-called elite families uh with their whole new world order agenda there or what they now calling the great reset which is definitely coming still coming all right esau has some some big things coming and, and what we experienced this past year was just a warm-up okay through the spirit of power of yahabashim yahushai you know Something very big is, is is getting ready to happen soon, and it, and it's gonna it's gonna these niggas really gonna wake up, 
All right, so the, the the point of this lesson is don't let uh <laughs> don't let this shit fool you. Don't let the Esau fool you. Cuz two thirds of our people they they're fooled. They're falling right back to sleep. They they think they if they just take the thing, everything will be all right. Which which they they're coming out to tell you that that it won't. It's not that easy. You see? But Jake wants to be comfortable. Jake wants to believe that everything is going to go back to normal. All right? Now, you have brothers, you know, said it before. You know, we 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 wish that the lockdown could have stayed. <laughs> but, hey, we understand that the Lord is doing this on his time. But, hey, just know something something bigger is coming. And I say that through the Spirit, Okay? So let's not, you know, speaking to myself first, let us not get caught up into thinking that that shit is sweet because it's not. All right. If anything, the Lord, ha you know, the Lord is graceful. He's long suffering to us. Word as the scriptures say, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to everlasting life. If the Lord wanted to come back, if the Lord, the Lord could have, you know, could have had the microchip come out, marketing bees, everything happened last year and. And Yahweh could have came back if he, you know, if it was set up like that. So we understand that the Lord is long suffering. We, we're still in the grace period. If anything, the, the Lord, want, you know, wants us to get our our, our uh, situations in order, get ourselves together as, as best as we can. That's why you know things are still moving the way it is. But when when it's on, it's on. And it's in through the Spirit, man. It, it, it won't be too long. Before everything is really on and popping. All right. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. <laughs> right. So Yahweh Shah is coming like a thief in the night. When you least expect it. All right, you got these <laughs> niggas, okay? They, they'll make different rap songs and say like, I'm like a thief in the night. I believe that, that nigga Young Thug had a song like that, okay? But Jake, Jake is 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 gonna be caught like like a, he's gonna get caught sleeping, gonna get caught lacking by the Lord. All right, but we understand that the Lord is coming back as a thief in the night. So we on our watch. All right. Verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety. And that's the vibration that's going out right now. Peace and safety. Just just do your part. Get the get the thing and everything will be all right. We're going to we're going to beat this thing. They, they have talks. Oh, uh, we uh, they have talks right now. Which I wanted to do a video on it, but I, I can speak on it right now. They are uh, talking about this uh, National Vacation Week. Where they want to shut down everything for a week. And they'll pay everybody to stay home. Only catch. There's going to be no internet. No Netflix. No no news. Things of that nature. That would be the perfect time for Esau to, to roll. And I believe that, uh, they, that the house... A representatives the in the, the Senate I have they already uh agreed you know it's already on the book so all, all all only thing is uh Joe Bonnie just has to sign off sign off on it and they can do it they can actually make that a law so imagine everybody at home for a week nobody doing nothing that'd be a perfect time for Esau to roll in man kick in doors you see so it's, 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 Esau it, it has things in the works. <laughs> Why these people saying peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. You see, so just when, when, when Jake think the coast is clear, everything is over, we beat this thing, boom. That's when shit going to hit the fan for real, for real. And that's, that's what we're waiting for. And that's the water y'all by Shemiel Shah for giving us to giving us the uh 
the warning. You see? The Lord actually told us that he's to, to be on on, on watch because he's coming. So, hey, <laughs> you know, for letting us know. And we're warning our people, but they, they just won't listen. All right. Verse four. But ye brethren are not in darkness that, that they should overtake you as a thief. Right. So we're not ignorant. So, Lord willing, we won't get caught slipping. All right? Spiritually, that is. And it, you can show you that the Lord is a, a, a so-called black man. Look at the, you know, his, his word. Look at the scripture. Look at the way he speaks. Look at the way he speaks through men. Read these words, man. Verse 5. Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Why we're Israelites, the, the 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 princes of the power. We have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, of the Lord, which is a uh, liken unto the light. It, it's the the true, pure light that you know illuminates our minds. It gives us the the ability to see through this thick darkness that uh we're in, being in the valley of the, of the shadow of death in this world. Okay, where this truth is the only light, and we are the only beacons of light, and we're shining the light in a dark place, as the scriptures say. Verse 6 Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. <laughs> you see, so let us not sleep. These people sleep, man. They don't know what's going on. They're talking about 2021 is going to be better. Well, I don't believe that the Lord is going to allow 2021 for 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 uh niggas to say that 2021 was uh better than 2020. Okay? We still got what about 7 months left. We haven't even gone through half the year yet, so hey man, anything could happen. And expect expect the unexpected. All right? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, right? Be clear-minded. Jake out here, they, they letting loose, letting their guard down, turning up and partying. They got to make up for all the lockdown of 2020. So they're, they're, they're not being sober-minded. They're, 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 their mind is cloudy. They can't perceive what, what's about to go down in the spirit. They're drunken, spiritually drunken, okay? Verse 7, for they that sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for an helmet and for an helmet the hope of salvation. So we're getting ready for, for the day of battle. As it says in Ezekiel, the 13th chapter. Because we understand what, what's, what's coming. All right? Oh, my people make you ready to the battle. That's second Ezra 14. <laughs> Jake don't understand what's, what's about to go down, man. They, they, they're literally celebrating early. Like, like the game is over. Like the war is over. And they don't even know that they're in a war. Behind enemy lines, getting ready to to, to be uh, rolled right over, man. Okay, but it says they that sleep are sleep in the night, right? That doesn't make me think of this. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay. And yeah, man, like I said again, we, you know, me personally, I really thought, hey, 2020 could be it. The Lord could, you know, could have came back last year. But hey, hey, he could, he, he could come back this year. Right now, it's high time to awake out of sleep. Verse 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand, right? The night is far spent. The time for, for partying and, you know. Getting, getting uh, out of your mind, turning up, you ain't worried about nothing, YOLO, party, 
lifestyle. That's 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 spent, man. That's done with. That's over. That shit out went out the window, 2019. But yet Jake still want to hold on to 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 that spirit. They not in the spirit of seeking the Lord, getting themselves, getting their, their household in order, getting ready for judgment day. They not thinking about that. Well, you got all type of uh, things getting ready to hit the fan. Hyperinflation is coming. Okay. Esau coming with that sword. He still wants to uh, do the Great Reset. He still wants his New World Order agenda. And and a lot of uh, the majority of you niggas is not in the plans. So meaning what? You're going to get eradicated. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Right, and that's the, the spirit that Jake is in, man. Rioting, partying, getting drunk, you know, <laughs> every night, stupid wasted. Turning up, chambering, okay, hitting the club every night. That's that's Jake. Verse 14, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Okay, so we're not to be living to, to uh, feed our flesh, especially in these times. All right. This is uh, Second Edge 16. Lord, will I close out uh, with this? All right. <laughs> Verse uh, Second Edge 16 and 18, which you know. As the scriptures say, man, the, the, all these are the beginning of sorrows. That's exactly where we're at right now, man. The beginning of sorrows. Because cause the worst is yet to come. Jake think the worst is, is over. <laughs> no, the worst is yet to come. These are all the beginning of sorrows. All right? We read in Matthew 24 chapter. And Yahweh Shah was giving them the breakdown. We see wars and rumors of wars. You know, this and that just know it's the beginning of sorrows that's the time we live in there right now man the beginning of sorrows okay that you got rumors of war right now with russia and ukraine and and, and america okay uh biden against uh uh putin that's all in the news last week you see so hey man this shit is just now getting turned up but Jake is going right back to sleep, man. This is 16 and 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginnings of famine and great death. Okay, you got uh, droughts and, and uh, the different wells drying up in Babylon the Great. Okay, they're coming out of saying that a famine is coming of, of biblical proportion. You just had a, a, a so-called cyber attack. And the largest uh, pipeline for gas in Babylon, they had to shut it down. <laughs> hey, shit is breaking loose, man. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay, so this is Ezra's, man. He, he was uh, worrying about these uh, different things thousands of years ago. And you got Jake here today. Walking right into these times that Ezra is speaking of, and they're not even they're not even worried. They're not even thinking about it. They don't even know what's going on. But you had uh, this man, okay, Ezra's high-level prophet of the Lord, you know, uh, speaking about these times thousands of years ago, showing you the the, the level of watching he was on, okay, and that's the that's the spirit we gotta be in. We got to be more in that spirit than Ezra's was because this we are in those days. <laughs> okay. These evils are right before us. We living in this exact same time right now. 
Verse 19, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You see, so the Lord is bringing the famine, plague, tribulation, all these different hells and trouble. Okay, 2020 COVID, all these, this crazy shit going on in the earth. Every time you see a different news headline, you go to the comments, people say, damn, what's next? Can, can this get any crazier? Well, the Lord said he sent, are sent, these things are sent as scourges for amendment, for change, okay? This, the Lord is doing these things so that people can repent, so that Jake can repent. But we know that only the elect is going to repent, okay? Verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see? So, hey. Jake, Jake is not thinking about, about what's going on, man. They're not being mindful of, of all these things. They, they, they still think about turning up and partying, man. Still thinking about their five-year plan, 10-year plan, this and that. When they're, man. Okay, that's why the Lord said, why should you be stricken anymore? That's why the Lord is just, just going to destroy these niggas, man. Quit. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Right. They got, you know, the, the different PPP loans and OK, unemployment scamming is at an all time high. Niggas don't work no more. They scamming. All right. You every restaurant you go in, they got a hiring uh, now hiring sign. Hiring any position we hiring. Why is that? Because. Niggas not working. <laughs> you see? So they, they, they think they're in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. <laughs> All right? So, hey, that's the times we're living in, man. Even though Jake think every as this right now you got Jake thinking everything is all good. Meanwhile, they're getting ready to be slaughtered. How 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 uh crazy is that, man? And this is the exact time we the scripture I'm reading right now. This is right. Let's talk about right now. Talk about uh uh relevancy, okay? People talking about the, the Bible is out of date. It's not relevant anymore. That was that was biblical. We ain't in Bible days no more. You out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> All right. Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. And that's, and that's coming, man. That's coming. They showed you that in that movie, I Am Legend. Perfect example. Everybody was going, uh, was happy. They was getting a thing in, in the beginning of the movie. They showed you everybody was getting a thing. And they was happy. Three years later, it, it looked like a, a, uh, everybody just died. <laughs> okay? He had Will Smith by himself living, going through the streets. You see the different, uh, movie, uh, trailers and, you know, like life, it looked like life was just going normal, like every day, and then everything just stopped. Shit popped off. And that's what we read in verse 24. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. That's why they showed you in I, I Am Legend. They showed you it was grass growing, it, breaking through the, the streets and shit. Everything looked unkept. Yeah, uh, different uh wild animals roaming the streets yeah all these cars just you know in in different positions not moving you see they had that one show that uh used to come on a uh, history channel life after people verse 25 the trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them okay so, so that's the times we're living in. That's the times we're coming into. All right. 
<laughs> hey, verse 28, I'm going to jump down and close out with that. For of a city, there shall be ten left. Of a city shall be ten left. That's the time we're coming into, man. Imagine a, a, a one city got a million people living in it. The Lord said, out of, for out of a city shall be ten left, man. Mass death is coming. Like a thief in the night, man. Like an instant. And two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rock. Okay? It's just like I Am Legend, man. He was just that one dude left <laughs> in that one city, man. All right. So, yeah, man, it's just something I wanted to speak on through the spirit. Lord, and was edifying to the next lesson, Shalom.